Hello everybody, so this is uh, another screencast for learning 3GS Black. In this screencast we're gonna learn how to do the Earth in WebGL. So more in more detail we're gonna do this particular demo. So you got a star feed in the background, you got I don't know if you see a cloud layer moving, you got the earth moving, you got a quite nice display of the earth, you can see a normal map, you can see a specular map, these kind of things. I got the idea to do this because of this site, something called Planet Pixel Amparium. On this stuff got all the textures that you want for each planet that you want. So you can have Jupiter, you can have all that. Because of that, I did a small extension which allow you to display all the planets. Something like that. See, you click here, you got the sun. When the network is nice with me. You can have all the planets like that, that's cool. Let me shut down this. You can even have uh, some rings if you want. You got the rings, everything is working okay. So let's come back on the past. We're gonna learn how to make uh, the Earth in WebGL. You got the demo here. We're gonna go step by step, that's easier to learn. So first we do a plane sphere, then we add the diffuse texture. Every time you see it's different, plane sphere, diffuse texture. Then we add a burnt texture. You can see it because you see all the mountain here. No, you you got a specular texture. You see that the sea is more shiny than the earth, than the ground. We add a cloud layer every time you see the difference here. We make it move. We make it move here. I mean that we got some animation that you see. For example, the earth is moving and the, sh the cloud layer is moving as well. So it's pretty cool. Yet uh, it moves, we have the star field in the back as well. You see there's a star field, with why? Because a planet are in the star field, right? After that I show the planet that you can get with the 3x planet extension. So, all that gonna teach you how to do textures. Uh, what is a diffuse texture, what is a bump texture, what is a specular texture, these kind of things. And yet, you do quite funny demo. Well, I hope that's going to be useful for you. It has been fun to do for me. See ya.